In this video, you're going to take a look at how to use basic widgets such as the scaffold, app bar, safe area, container, text, rich text, column, row, as well as different types of buttons. You'll learn how to use the most common widgets. I call them our base building blocks for creating beautiful user interfaces and user experiences. The scaffold widget implements the basic material design visual layout, allowing you to easily add various widgets such as the app bar, bottom app bar, a floating action button, a drawer, snack bar, bottom sheet, and more. The app bar widget usually contains a standard title, toolbar, leading and action properties, you know, along with buttons, as well as many customization options. The title property is typically implemented with a text widget. You can customize it with other widgets, such as a drop-down widget. The leading property is displayed before the title property. Usually this is an icon button or a back button. The actions property is displayed to the right of the title property. It's a list of widgets aligned to the upper right of an app bar, usually with an icon button and a pop-up menu button. The flexible space property is stacked behind the toolbar or the tab bar widget. The height is usually the same as the app bar's widget's height. The background image is commonly applied to the flexible space property, but any widget such as an icon could be used. The uh, safe area widget is necessary for today's devices such as the iPhone 10 or Android devices with a notch. A partial cutout, obscuring the screen usually located on the top portion of the device. The safe area widget automatically adds sufficient padding to the child widget to avoid intrusions by the operating system. You can optionally pass a minimum amount of padding or boolean value to not enforce padding on the top, bottom, left, or right. The container widget is a commonly used widget that allows customization of its child widget. You can easily add properties such as color, width, height, padding, margin, border, constraint, alignment, transform, such as a rotating or a sizing the widget, and many others. The child property is optional, and the container widget can be used as an empty placeholder, like invisible, to add space between widgets. The text widget is used to display a string of characters. The text constructor takes the argument string, style, max lines, overflow, text align, and others. The constructor is how the arguments are passed to initialize and customize the text widget. The rich text widget is a great way to display text using multiple styles. The rich text widget takes text bands as children to style different parts of the strings. A column widget displays its children vertically. It takes a children property containing an array of list of widget, meaning you can add multiple widgets. The children are aligned vertically without taking up the full height of the screen. Each child widget can be embedded in an expanded widget to fill the available space. Cross-axis alignment, main axis alignment, and main axis size can be used to align and size how much space is occupied on the main axis. A row widget displays its children horizontally. It takes a children property containing an array of list widget. The same properties that the column contains are applied to the row widget, with the exception that the alignment is horizontal and not vertical. There are a variety of buttons to choose from for different situations, such as a raise button, floating action button, a flat button, an icon button, pop-up menu button, and button bar.